Go for road! So, where, where are we going? Are you serious? For the tenth time, David, we're going to George Jarvis School in Hereford. For that crow car special, Dave. Oh, aye, that's right. But we really got to go all this way? Oh, come on now, Dave. We need to do something different for this episode, I told you. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, but we there yet, nearly. I need a, I need a pee. We'll be walking now if we carry on. Do we think this place is for real, boys? I'm absolutely shitting a brick. Uh, well, we're about to find out, don't we? Boys, I need a pee, man. Oh, oh Dave, man! Oh. All right, all right, calm down. This is the George Jarvis School. It's named after a local man who walked to London from Hereford to make his fortune. He loved the local area, so he donated to three local villages. It's built in 1859, I believe they completed building, and it was built as a boarding school. And they built this. <laughs> Through the years, its function has been as a school. It was until, I believe, 15 years ago, still the local primary school, uh, but they, they had to close it because they couldn't afford to heat it anymore. It's also been used as a youth hostel. Uh, it was used during the war for American soldiers, um, but they only managed to survive two nights but couldn't stay any longer because bricks were being thrown down the chimney stacks at them. It's a three-storey building, so how anyone got on the roof to throw bricks at them, I don't know, because I can't get up there. One of the soldiers uh, plummeted to his death from one of the windows upstairs. Apparently there is a newspaper clipping somewhere about it. I've been told it's in the building here somewhere, but I haven't seen it, um, of one of the American soldiers going to his death from a window. There's been death linked with this building ever since it was being built, uh, before it was even finished. One of the builders, he fell off his horse and broke his neck and died. When, when we first took the building over, the locals were telling us a lot of the ghost stories. Um, and people have been seen in the windows upstairs. A lot of the team saw an old fashioned lantern walk past one of the windows upstairs and there was no one in here. There's one room in, the, in this place that I don't like. The only one room been investigating since 1993. Nowhere phases me, but there is one room in this building that I don't like. If we get this, this venue on a good night, it's going to be very interesting. We're going to have people very scared. What's up, everybody? We're here at George Jarvis School. It's creepy as hell. We're here for a Halloween special on Crowcast, episode 100. Um, we're going to spend a couple of hours here and see what happens. <laughs> the GoPro's on. What do you think how long this was ever done to get rid of all my machine cards? Oh, you just... <laughs> Damn it! I bet! Yeah. Fucking way, like, look at that, man.
What? What's he doing? He's whistling like a, like a shepherd to his dog. Hey, boy. What do you call now? You call now? Yeah. Come on now. Anyone here? Make a loud noise. That's me. <laughs> What the fuck is that? It's a trap, it's a vent. That's a big vent. It's a vent. That's why This is a fucking event. Fuck you know. Last you can't. <laughs> no, I'm fucking serious, dude. Why are you robbing it? Cup of tea is a shiner boy. Fuck <laughs> <Just ghost>. <laughs> Fiendishly good cup of tea. <laughs> a cold sweat run up their backs as those damn crows make their way to the second level. Who knows what they might find? So Shiner thought he'd better bring his tea. <laughs> There'd be no sign of paranormal activity. But they quickly learned that it may be the flashlight that are causing the problem. We mean you no harm. Come forward. Still going as well. There's some shit there, um, and there's loads of wood above you, like. Um, okay, back it off. in the clock tower hallway. Disorientated and confused, they returned to the safety of the entrance. After a long discussion about what had happened, the band members convinced the crew to venture on and see where the night led them. However, the crew insisted on the caretaker and staff accompanied the group. And the illusion of strength in numbers would prove to be their downfall. <laughs> Now there's a local story, mm. don't know how true it is, that a bloke lived down here. Um, well, it, well, it was derelict. Ah! Oh, come on! Here, yeah. it's all now boarded over. 
as the group patiently waited to contact the spirits of the house, what was thought to be fully charged recording equipment began to periodically stop working. There you go. Was that fully charged? Someone else has died. That, that was full. <laughs> So Shane was left with the only working GoPro. Oh, that's fucked up, that is. Oh, oh you that! You You turn the camera off. Yep, the camera's all off, nothing off. recording. They See, this it. is what happens. Maybe I'll be back to the Well, I was saying to you just now one night. I was saying, maybe I'll be back to the kitchen, Jay. We always say, can you turn the camera off for a sec? And then something happens. And the thing is, you know, no one was there. No one was there. No one stood there. Then, right, we got what we needed. Happy days! That's incredible! Run away! Run away! Run away! All you've got to do, so basically the Ouija board, letters, numbers, yes and no, one chat, just put your finger gently on it and then ask some questions and the idea is that it will get a spirit to move it, get spirit to move it and spell out an answer to what you're asking, or you can ask simply just ask questions that are yes or no. Really saying it would need probably more than one of you to build the energy up onto the planchet. Someone's gonna put it. Go so you need at least two, two three people like that. Me? What fucking chance? I'm only one of eight. I think it's in. Go on Shane and mine. But then I don't want people saying that I'm pushing it. Yeah, so yeah. that's why yeah. we tend to not I think what the fuck? Yeah sorry that was really <laughs> Is there a spirit in this school? I didn't do that. Wow, that was cool. Wow. Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! There's one ring in the in this place that I don't like. The only one ring I've been investigating since nineteen. <laughs> Nowhere phases me, but there is one room in this building that I don't like. He doesn't like going in this room. Nope. And we're going in this room. Mm -hmm. We are? Oh, that's sensible. <laughs> Move the chair. Make a noise. Come on. We came here for a fucking ghost hunt. Push him off the chair. <laughs> 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 so we've actually had this place down into one of the rooms and uh, just left it there and it actually played by itself. Oh, we you had to actually <coughs> Cold and exhausted, the band unanimously voted to call it a night. Or so they thought. So that's it. That's close on a great time at George Java School. It was creepy as hell, man. We loved every second. Um, some scary shit. What's going on there? What's going on there? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh. Yeah, this way, this way. Let's go. Keep going, man. We'll have a look this way. Okay, yeah? Okay. Right. Cool. Right. Shane! Shane, where are you? Shane, Shane! Shane, what are you doing? Shane! Oh.